Elon Musk is both one of the most famous entrepreneurs in the world and also famous for being a huge introvert. In fact, you could even say that being an introvert is one of the key trademarks of his personality. So if you're thinking that you can't succeed in business because you are an introvert, you are going to love this video. Specifically, there are three ways in which Elon Musk uses his introverted personality to his advantage to help him create the successes that he's had. And in today's video, we're going to talk about what those three are and how you can use them for yourself. Hi there, I'm Louisa Joe, a former space station engineer turned entrepreneur turned business coach and teacher. About eight years ago, I was in your typical nine to five job and wanting to leave it, but not sure I could build and start my own online business. However, over the span of a year, everyone I loved had a life threatening emergency. My mother was diagnosed with cancer. My father was rushed to the ER for emergency heart surgery, and my sister got hit in the eye with a freak snowball that almost caused her to lose her eyesight. Because it happened over such a long period of time, I did not not have enough vacation days to be with all of them. And I realized that if you can't be there for the ones who you love most when they need you, then what's the point? That finally gave me the motivation to overcome my fears and put myself out there and do what I needed to do to start my own business. After a lot of failures, I figured out how to take my job skills at the time and turn that into a six figure business that allowed me to leave my job. After I'd done that, people started asking me, Hey, Louisa, how are you able to do that? And so here we are today. Now I help ambitious men and women grow and scale their own online businesses because I believe that we all deserve to do what truly fulfills us in a way that allows us to create the income, the business and the lifestyle that we want. That's why at this channel, I share weekly videos with strategic and actionable advice on building and growing your own online business so that you can create the fulfillment, the impact, the lifestyle, the business and the freedom that you want. Now, you might not be able to tell from this video, but Believe it or not, I am a huge introvert. In fact, when I first started doing videos years ago, my very first video, I was sweating so much. You could literally see my face glistening with a sweat because I was so nervous. Maybe a little bit TMI, but I think it's important for you to know where I started so that I was able to use my introvertedness as an advantage where nowadays I'm comfortable speaking on stage in front of thousands of people like at Gary V Live or doing live streams that eventually end up getting seen by thousands to tens of thousands of people. And it's because I've used these same three tips that I'm going to break down for you. The first tip is to set your own path. I remember reading years ago how Elon Musk shared that one day he sat down and he mapped out where the world was going based on the different industries that he thought were going to change the world over the next few decades. That's where he decided to start his businesses. So he thought the internet was going to change the world, thus PayPal. He thought that space was going to be the next frontier. Absolutely. Thus SpaceX. He thought that the energy industry was ripe for disruption. So thus Tesla. And this is something that naturally comes to us as introverts because we like to sit and, and think by ourselves. So for me, when I first started this business, I sat down and thought, what kind of business do I envision? What do I want to do? What do I want to spend my time doing? Who do I want to help outside of whatever is the norm for this industry? I frankly don't care. And that's how I decided to create the products that I've created and the business model that I have. For example, with my first ever flagship course, employee to entrepreneur, I essentially created what I felt was missing from the market. I created the experiences and the knowledge and the skills that I wish someone had told me I needed to develop to build an online business. So I didn't do the same. Hey, let me teach you how to learn some new skill. That's going to make you a thousand dollars a month. Let me teach you how to do uh, advertising on your blog. Let me teach you how to first leave your job and then hopefully succeed by burning all your bridges. I said, let me teach you exactly what I did, where I built my business in a very very safe environment where I still had my job and used just simply my job skills to replace a really great income and minimize that risk before I left my job. Over the years, I've applied that same principle to every single thing that I've done, including every single course I've created. At this point, I think I've created maybe 16 to 17 courses. And each time it's because I sat down, I didn't look at what others were doing. And I thought, okay, what is it that I want to do myself or that I feel is missing from the market? Or I feel that there is room for a lot of innovation and disruption. The second tip is to define your boundaries. Something really interesting about Elon Musk is that he talks about a lot of things, his work habits, his beliefs, his thoughts, random jokes, his political beliefs, again, a lot of things. However, what you'll notice is that he doesn't talk a lot about his childhood, his personal life or his family. And that's intentional because he's decided, look, I'm going to be a public figure and people are going to want to know a lot of things about me. So I'm going to share the things that I'm comfortable 
tangible sharing and I'm going to drive that focus so that I can save and keep to myself the areas of my life that I want to. When you do this, you are able to drive the conversation to focus on areas that you're comfortable sharing and talking about and keep to yourself the areas that you want to keep private to be able to personally recharge. So for me, I did the exact same thing. Branding my business around myself and creating a business where I am the, the face of the business has meant that I had to be extra careful about that, especially from the beginning. Otherwise, it can be very easy to get to the point where you feel like you have to talk about everything in your life and you can't keep private. I'm a very private person, so that was not going to work for me. So from the very beginning, I decided, OK, there are a few areas where I'm happy to talk about. I'm happy to talk about my personal experiences building a business, all my failures, all the things I went through. And I think people need to hear that. I'm also happy to talk about the fact that I love food and I live in New York. So I'm always sharing different adventures related to my journeys, exploring New York City and finding new places to eat. I also have a super cute, super goofy black German Shepherd. So I like to share my adventures with him all the time. There's always something new that he's doing. Those are a few examples of different aspects of my life that I'm very comfortable sharing. However, there are certain aspects aspects that I have defined as being mostly off limits. For example, I don't talk a lot about my husband because he has not chosen this path. He's a very private person and occasionally I'll mention him or if I share a picture of him, I'll ask his permission beforehand. But beyond that, I don't talk too much about him. Same thing for my family. I don't talk a lot about my father and my mother because they also like to keep their privacy. I'll mention a few stories here and there when they're relevant. But again, on the day to day, I'm really respecting that privacy. So even when I'm sharing my updates on social media on day to day behind the scenes, I stick to these areas that I've predefined and that I'm comfortable sharing the areas that I've predefined as things that I'm going to keep private, I completely stay away from. The truth is more and more so nowadays, people want to connect to you as the business owner, whether or not your business is branded around you. And so to be able to do that in a way successfully, while also respecting your personality, this is one of the best ways to do so. Tip number three is to own your communication style. I think a lot of us, myself included, have this idea that to succeed as an entrepreneur or a public figure, you have to be really charismatic and speak really eloquently on stage. Then there's Elon Musk. Obviously, he's an incredibly intelligent individual, but when you look at him speaking on stage or in public or on interviews, he doesn't exactly come across as the most confident, well-spoken, charismatic person. He might seem nervous. He might um and ah. He might go off on different tangents. And you know what? The power of what he does is that he owns that that is his communication style. So he's not trying to make himself into something or someone he's not. Instead, he's gotten really clear on how he communicates it and he has doubled down on it. This is especially powerful for introverts because honestly, at the beginning of my business, I used to think that I had to be the person who would really scream and get in your face or maybe dye my hair a different color or maybe cuss to be able to stand out and really connect with my audience. Once I really wrapped my head around this tip, what I did was I figured out, OK, how do I actually speak? Well, I'm very focused and very strategic. I'm quite nerdy myself. And sometimes I like to talk really, really fast, as you can probably kind of tell from this video, because there's so many things that I want to share with you. Occasionally, I might make a comment that is somewhat funny to you, but I'm not trying too hard to be a super witty or funny or any of the things that I'm not. Instead, I understand that the power of my communication style comes from being super direct, always no BS, super honest and no fluff with you, which over the years, so many people have told me that they relate to and just really knowing my stuff and really communicating that. Then from time to time, I will get a little bit silly or unexpected because that's just my personality, but I don't force it. It only happens when it feels natural. So that was tip number three. So you can see how being an introvert can be incredibly powerful in helping you succeed and build your own business. What's more, honestly, what I found over the years is that as an introvert, it might be easier for you to connect with your audience and really show up especially in the beginning when nobody knows you. And that's going to be one of actually your greatest advantages. If you want to know more about that and how to do that, I've got a great video for you that is right. I'm going to put right here on exactly how I built a six figure business while working a nine to five. And a huge part of that was the fact that I doubled down on the fact that I was an introvert and use that to connect with potential clients right off the bat. So again, if you want to watch that and get some more helpful tips, I've got that linked for you right here.